Hello, this is Thibaut. This is another video tutorial. So today we're gonna see a hidden section reveal. So what is a section reveal? So let's see. So the effect gonna we're gonna see today is the following. So I'm scrolling and then you I have a section opening, a hidden section opening. Again, and you see there is uh, some picture with a, a little uh, effect, entry effect. Again. Okay, so how it's made. So as usual, I put some dummy section, a start and open one, uh, start and end one. So we don't need, but for the sake of the exercise to see the effect, it's better to have them. Then I have my uh, top section, which is going to be the one opening on top. I have the hidden section. We don't see it because it's behind. And I have uh, my bottom section, the one, the bottom end section that's going to open down. So my top is nothing special. I gave a certain eight, minimum eight, and I gave a Z index of two. That's important. We're going to see why later. Then I have my bottom section. And this is the interesting part. I gave a negative margin of minus 40 SVH, which is actually the same H, and that's important, of the hidden section. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm covering the section above by minus 40 SVH. And that will have to correspond to, 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 to work uh, for the animation. So after the rest is nothing special, it's just some, uh, some adjustments. Um, this bottom section, yes, will have also a, a Z index of one. So it's, we are sure it's on top of the hidden section which doesn't have any uh, Z-index. Um, <clears throat> as you can see in the animation, there is, from the beginning, there is a top and bottom uh, box shadow. That's why my Z-index is involved, because Let's explain. Um, I've put a box shadow, a certain box shadow. Uh, so we have it here when it's opening. And I gave another uh, box shadow to the hidden one. But you're going to ask me why you don't put the, bo the inset box shadow to the hidden one. Uh, it's simply because when, when we're going to open it, you see, it will be hidden here. Let's, let's, let's see. If I add it, so, Oh, sorry, not the full thing. Okay, so minus zero. So that will be minus inset. And I'm commenting this one so it doesn't do anything. So if I refresh, You see, there is no more. Maybe you can't see because of the video, but we don't have the box shadow. The box shadow is only appearing when the section is fully open. So we, I have to make it on the bottom one. But if I put on the bottom one, I have to put a higher than the index. So when it's closed, it's covering the box shadow. So that's why the top section has a Z index of two. Uh, so it's covering the box shadow. So let's put back the 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 box shadow as it was. 
Okay, sorry, I'm putting in a custom CSS, but you can put it, of course, in the in the um, box shadow uh, part of bricks. It's just for I put it there so it's easier for the exercise to show you uh, the impact of the box shadow. Okay, so I will delete this one. Okay. So now, is it still working? Let's see. Okay, and also I forgot to show, but it's adapting on the on the on the screen size. Then uh, I have my motion page. Uh, motion page. I'm using it basically to. Uh, pin the element so it's stuck and when it's stuck it's pin it's open it's opening the top one basically it's a kind of sticky effect but with through the pin element so motion page so i have put a scroll trigger and a pin element on the start open so start open is this one so the bottom one and when it reach the selector top so you see it's gonna open soon thumb top it's opening till it's fully open and then it continues so the end is the bottom of the selector and i put it it at 65 percent of the the viewport so you're gonna ask me why you put 64.9 it's just that there is a small line if i put 65 percent there is a small line appearing i don't i'm not sure why but if I put 64.9, this small line, one pixel line, is disappearing. It's just simple as that. And then I have my animation for the picture. So for the picture, it's simple. I put an opacity starting uh, a from, from opacity 0 and I'm translating to the left, so minus x 100%. And then I'm giving a, a slight scale, a bigger scale than the original uh, size of the picture. And the two is back to opacity one, back to its original position, so x zero, and the scales so back to original size. So nothing nothing special but it's giving this uh, small entry animation that's adding a, 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 a kind of uh, impact to the opening of the hidden section so thank you for watching today and see you next time